Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Hustle International Academy in first time in 2021. Today I am going to discuss the shortcuts, secrets, tricks and concepts about one tail and what is left tail and right tail and what is one tail about Z test and T test. I will also discuss and checking about the Z test and T test in hypothesis testing by using diagram to have made more concepts. So must watch this lecture from starting to end and don't skip any steps. So without wasting any time, let's talk about it. So here, first of all, I'm going to discuss about one tail. What is one tail? So must remember when shortcut definition when just follow the steps. H1. You already know that H1 is a alternative hypothesis and must remember it's of less than sign or greater than sign then it lies in then it lies in one tail must remember that it lies in one tail and what is Less than sign and what is greater than sign? No, now discuss about the sign less than and greater than. Very simple. When H1 is of sign less than, and next I will discuss about the when H1 is of sign greater than. And must remember this sign shows here left tail. This sign shows here left tail test. And get the sign simply shows here a right tail test. Right tail test. Now I'm going to discuss about the diagram of one tail about that test and this test. Very easily. Now uh, this is the diagram of normal distribution. This is the diagram of normal distribution you can say that z distribution this also used in hypothesis testing for one tail in this sign here this sign this sign shows here that diagram sign utilize here this sign you can say that this will be minus the alpha because you already know that normal distribution always lies from minus 20 to plus 20 minus 20 to plus 20. So here this time left tail shows a diagram with R they will be minus the alpha and this region shows a critical region. This side it shows a critical region. You can also say that rejection region. And this side here, this point, this B shows a Diagram will be here, formula will be Z alpha in here, and that section will show that this is the critical region. This region show that critical region, that this is called as right tail test. I hope that you have cleared the concept about left tail and right tail. Now we we'll discuss about one tail about Z test. This is the for Z test, and if you have any question about T test, you can write here minus t alpha b t alpha b is for z alpha is for z test and t alpha b shows here when we test t test must be and here will be positive t alpha b and v shows here degree of freedom v shows here degree of freedom now now we discuss about the how to check the critical region is that accept H0 and reject H0. Very simply shortcut trick I'm going to discuss. So must for that if Z calculated value, Z C shows here, Z C shows here calculated value. Calculated value of z that's clear and next here z alpha shows here z alpha 
Z alpha shows a table value. Table value of Z. Much better. This of that is for calculated value and that as far as the table value of z. If that c calculated value is less than minus the alpha. That's clear. Similarly, if t uh, minus t calculated value is less than minus t alpha b, then z calculated value is less than minus the alpha, so it will lie in critical region because it lies in the rejection region. So you can say that we have reject that node. In this case, we will always have reject that node because if that calculated value is less than, so it will lies in the critical region, which show that rejection region. So in this case, we will be reject that node and similarly for T test, if T calculated value less than T alpha will be reject as no. But T calculated, what is the value of calculated value? What is that? You notice know that Z is equal to X bar minus mu over sigma over square root of X. This formula is shown here. In this value, we will calculate the value of Z. This is the calculated value Z. By putting the values of x bar, mu, sigma, and we get the value of cat. This is the value of calculated value that and C alpha shows that we 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 will calculate this value but from using tables. So have I hope that you have cleared the point of that. And similarly, you can write here z calculated value is greater than z alpha. And similarly, t calculated value is greater than t alpha v. So in this case, we will always will be reject that node. That's clear because if z value is greater than z alpha, it shows it lies in this region. So it will be reject that node. Similarly, t calculator is greater than z alpha will be reject that node. I hope that you have cleared the concept about how to reject that node in both cases. Now discuss about the last point, acceptance. Acceptance. If must remember one more important point. I'm going to discuss about that. If in this case z calculated value is greater than minus the alpha, you can say that opposition that it will lies in this region which is acceptance region. This region is the acceptance region. Acceptance region. It will be reverse case again then it will lie in acceptance region so in this case we will have acceptance node that's clear and similarly if in this case if t calculated value is not less than it will be get then minus t alpha b so in this case also we have always acceptance node that's clear and last point in here if in this case, if Z calculated value is greater, it will be less than the alpha opposition case, then it will be accept as not. That's clear. And last point, if T calculated value is less than T alpha V, so it also will be accept as not. I hope that you have cleared the concept about the one tail left tail, right tail, how to check the in the Z test and T test in hypothesis testing. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for gaining notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.